Morning. Um, as you can see behind me, we've been doing more work down in the pit and it's becoming a race against time because as you can see, the walls are starting to dissolve every time it rains they disintegrate and because we've, we're still doing like um, full-time jobs during the week it means that there can be quite big gaps between doing work because this is all clay subsoil as we sort of originally calculated to do to do our footings a certain depth and the wall a certain strength based on normal soil but because this is clay subsoil we've been told by a surveyor friend that it's going to be um, under an awful lot more pressure than it might otherwise be um, so we've been digging down I don't know if you can see below me but we've been digging a new set of footings inside and we're going to double up this wall and build another course of bricks alongside it um, but also putting in much deeper foundations on the inner inner layer which will hopefully just give the whole wall a lot more strength but yeah if you have a look here look how the wall is disintegrating it's like something from Stranger Things, isn't it? And over here, it gets really bad. Look at that. Chris and I keep telling ourselves that maybe we will hit gold. And the thought that perhaps, I don't know, we might find diamonds or treasure somehow the only thing that sometimes keeps us going. Bonjour. Um, so, oh, slightly frustrating. We had to pause work on our natural pool or, or pond that we're working on at the moment, um, given other projects ended up needing to be dealt with more urgently. Um, if you haven't been following our previous videos and you don't know what we're talking about, um, you can check out one of the other videos in this series where we talk a bit more about the project and uh, what we're trying to do with it but essentially we hope that eventually we'll be able to turn this pond into a natural pool. Yeah so we're feeling a little bit deflated because first of all we've looked at the pond and we've just seen it's in an absolute state. We've had to neglect it for a few weeks um, to sort of start working on the stables um, and having spoken to some a surveyor friend and some other experts we've realised that our kind of original Original plan of just building up concrete block walls, filling them up with concrete and putting a few bits of rebar through, it wasn't going to be enough. Because we have a clay subsoil, clay apparently creates a lot of hydrostatic pressure which puts loads of pressure on the walls and so apparently you need the walls to be loads stronger. Um, in particular we've got two walls that are really really big um, and those are the ones that are going to need to be strengthened up. So we're going to have to pretty much go back to the drawing board which won't be fun. We've got to dig new footings next to the ones that we've already got, level it all off and flatten it out and then lay new blocks so we've basically got sort of two layers of, of blocks next to each other to just give extra strength to that wall um, so yeah we've just had a look and it's not looking pretty and tomorrow we've got to crack on with that job so oh, I think uh, yeah we're going to be quite fed up by the end of this week.
as you can see, we have a massive mess behind us. Um, because of the ramp, all of the water flows down here like a river, um, bringing a lot of the clay with it. So it's a bit of a race against time to try and build up the wall around here so that the water kind of moves the clay around the back of the wall rather than pouring it into the bricks and inside the pit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and crack on and sort that out today. Let's hope there's no rain because I think there's a block behind there that probably needs redoing because it absolutely chucked it down last night. Let's hope for the best. It might look like I'm trying to dig the pit by hand with a small shovel. Certainly that's what it feels like, but basically I'm just trying to create a space for the water to run so that when I clean these bricks it doesn't just settle again. To get the clay out, I'm using a syringe, which is a bit of a nuts solution, but if I use the pressure washer, um, it's all just going to end up pouring back into the bricks, and so I'm keen to use as little water as possible. Um, <coughs> yeah, we obviously need to get the water out. This is the only way I can think of doing it, I'm sucking it out with a syringe. things that takes longest is sort of packing down, getting everything uh, good for the night, especially if you're going away a bit longer or you're going to um, be working the next day. I think I probably will be working longer, but um, it'll only be a short day.
Yeah, so we like to keep a uh, tidy building site, as you can see. <laughs> this is like the absolute chaos that feels uh, uh, like a real battle against nature. Um, but I think this is the thing with uh, any massive DIY project. You sort of have nature really showing you who's boss, and uh, it's a real kind of battle of wills. And just a reminder of how small we are. Oh, it's freezing cold, it's like two degrees at the moment and we're not really meant to be doing bricklaying um, when it's so cold but we've bought a load of antifreeze stuff to mix in with the mortar and it is meant to get a little bit warm later today so wow. we're hoping... We <laughs> One more degree. <laughs> yeah. we're, pushing, we're pushing the limits a little bit but we just really need to make some progress to get the walls up and this is the first day it's been dry for ages so... Yeah, we were excited because it was a dry day and then it was like one degrees this morning. Like, oh no. It was so cold when we got into the chateau last night. Even with the heating on, it, it was just like perishing. We had like four duvets on. <laughs> so cold though. Let's get, I think if we get working, we'll be warm. Let's right? warm up. Yeah, let's do it. Right. I'm going to need some good tunes to help us get through the next hour. Thank you. 